So this is going to be my review of Carnage USA, written by Zeb Wells and artwork by Clay Cr Clay Crane. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, this comic, I actually find a story. This is the first time I, well, actually, no, this is the second comic I ever got from a visit at Universal Studios, um, which they have a little comic book shop, which I was actually, real quick, I was actually amazed that all the X-Men stuff was still around. Like, they keep it in glass cases. It's like, yeah, and they actually sell, like, recent Marvel stuff, like, um, up to date. It's not like, hey, you know, just because we're Universal and not really, you know, fun uh, friends with the mouse, we're not going to sell stuff uh, anywhere. It's like, no, 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 they've got up to date Marvel stuff. And actually, we're really pimping out, like, Black Panther and um, Infinity War. So, I was actually really uh, surprised by that um, when I walked in there. Because last time I walked in there, I was like 12, 13 years old, and it was um, a lot different. There was actually a lot more comics, and it was actually, funny enough, um, the start of Disassembled. And that was the first time I ever read a... a I actually bought the first com like The comic I got there last time was um, Ultimate Spider-Man uh, The Venom Arc which left me completely confused because I had no idea what Ultimate was about at that time, and now I'm rambling. It's also kind of funny that this the second the second comic I, comic I get is about... is freaking about symbionts. Um, so yeah, let's talk a bit about Carnage USA. Um, yeah, this is a comic. Not a good one. But not... it's not terrible. I mean, Zeb Wells, most of you guys would know best, um from his work on Robot Chicken. He is a writer, a uh, main writer, as well as he does some of the voices on Robot Chicken. He also wrote one of my favorite Spider-Man comics, centered around my favorite Spider-Man villain, Dr. Octopus, in Dr. Octopus Year One, which is a fantastic miniseries. I absolutely loved it. And I actually had some high hopes, because like, oh man, Zeb Wells doing another Spider-Man villain? I'm in! Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, that's what I'm working with right here, folks, is because this comic is... If you're, okay, if you're a major Carnage fan, yeah, I'd say maybe give this a look, but this doesn't feel like Carnage at all. And for some reason, I feel like there were some continuity errors here and there. But anyway, I'll get to that in a moment. So the story is about uh, Cletus Cassidy, um, who at this point had cybernetic legs because Sentry ripped him in half and threw him into the sun because Bendis said fuck you to everyone who was a fan of this character. Um, and Carnage is... Carnage is back, and now he's got this whole scheme in his head of him going from place to place, wanting to transmute his symbiote in, um, uh, and infect the, uh, a, uh, a, a certain area. And he starts in a little town called Doverton in Colorado, and, that, and the Avengers are called in, and then followed by other symbiotes run by the government, which led to Flash Thompson Venom. That's your whole story right there. This is a five-part miniseries, which, by the way, you know, the last time I... The last few times I've been seeing Carnage in anything was in... is mostly in miniseries. Like, the, the... I was actually shocked to see him, kind of, in main Spider-Man continuity, in the main Spider-Man comics, excuse me. And now he's, you know, the, the Carnage symbiote is attached to Norman Osborn. And I don't know what happened to Cletus, so... don't I, I don't know, because I don't follow Dan Sloss' run. Um, which is also kind of weird, because, if there, you know, the Carnage symbiote is so, you know, attached to, to Cletus, it's... It's hard to separate them, but I don't freaking know anymore. Anyway, um... So this is the whole comic on in a nutshell, is that the main problem with this comic, if you're a Carnage fan, is that this comic is so uncarnage. The whole thing of him, his whole idea is that he wants to infect the world and make them all into Carnage symbiotes. Sure, that's not Cletus Cassidy. He wants to kill everyone. In fact, it's kind of funny that in the Deadpool vs. Carnage comic, it's funny because he makes, um, there's a quick line that Cletus says where he's like, what was I thinking trying to take over the world? I'm going back to basics. I was like, man, this this did not go over well with certain people. But yeah, it feels so uncarnage because he's not in, into the idea of ruling the world. He's into the idea of killing everyone in the world. So to have him, you know, take over a small town, infect them all with his symbiote, is 
kind of uncarnage like I mean, yeah, there's some points where it feels like, okay, that's something Carnage would say, that's also something Carnage would say, but at the same time, I'm like, he wouldn't do this. So, yeah. Now, the, 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 uh, the team of Avengers that are called in are uh, Captain America, of course, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hawkeye, and The Thing. Which, I don't know what Zeb we why Zeb Wells doesn't like The Thing, but there were some mean quips towards uh, Ben Grimm. And I was like, oh, that's, that's not fair, Zeb. I <laughs> anyway. So, the, um, the team, most of the team gets infected by symbiotes, which is weird because Captain America acts like he's never... There's, like, some lines, and maybe I missed something, but there's some lines that Captain America says to Carnage that is, like, um, that just makes me feel like, did you guys just forget Maximum Carnage? You were a part of that, Steve. You were a part of Maximum Carnage. And yeah, also there's some points where like um, another continuity error I was I noticed is that um, when Flash Thompson Venom shows up and Spider-Man's like, oh man, the Punisher is wearing is wearing my look, and he's like, don't worry, I'm a friend, and I'm like, but you guys met already at this point um, in Carnage US. I mean, before Carnage USA came out in the Rick Remender run, you guys already met. I remember it clearly. You guys met. So I guess that was another continuity error. Also, the other symbiotes that show up that are actually government-controlled, like Scorn and Agony and Lasher. You guys remember all those symbiotes from uh, the Venom miniseries from Dave Michelinie? They come back here, and they're all owned by Black Ops agents who, um, who the government just has. Which, incidentally, they also show back up in um, Carnage vs. Deadpool, and they all get taken out. Spoilers, but yeah, this comic's kind of a few years old. Um, also, Clay Crane's art is very... It's its its a very... His artwork is very dark and very moody, and it really sets the tone for um, Carnage. You know, it's really perfect for like that kind of blood and gore kind of thing, but it's also really, really dark. Like, sometimes the scenes are really muddied. Um, and by... Because most of this comic takes place at night, and there are some scenes where it's like, Man, I can hardly make out what's going on in here. Okay, I guess that just happened. All right. So Clay Crane's artwork, it's very... I like it because I really dig how he designs Carnage and the symbiotes. It's really good for, like, um, showing off Carnage and the other, like, Venom and the other symbiotes. But having said that, though, everything else, it just feels, like, really dark. And some of the facial expressions kind of feel weird. Um, but yeah... It's... Look, guys, I don't mean to shit on this, because, again, I I like Zeb Wells as a writer. Again, I really love o Dr. Octopus Year One. And even though I'm not the biggest Carnage guy... And, yeah, I know, I just kind of got this as a lark, really. Uh, because I was like, yeah, this might be fun. That was kind of the... That was the mindset of this, was that, hey, it might be fun. <laughs> so... And it's, self, it's a self-contained book. It's really a self-contained book that you... If you're a Carnage fan, I would say maybe go pick it up. That'd probably be your best option is to just... If you're a... I recommend this if you're, like, a major Carnage fan um, and ha and want to read more of him. That would be my best... Um, that would be my... Uh, that would be my best recommendation. However, if you're... Um, if you're not, I would say skip this. So, there you go, guys. So, there's pretty... Uh, but I will say the covers for Carnage USA are a lot of fun. Like, some of them are... Like, this one right here with Uncle Sam. They're really ridiculous and really fun. <laughs> they are... Uh, they're really good, but it's not enough to make me get the book, really. I mean, if you really want to get the book, I'd say if you're a major Carnage fan, that's about it. And want to collect all the stuff. Other than that, this is kind of skippable, really. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is pretty much all I have to say about Carnage USA. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, if you've read it, uh, what did you guys think of it? And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.